What is going on everybody? As I promised the other day, I would do another tutorial and this one's gonna be on cleaning up the hair on this image. Now, if you notice, there are a lot of flyaways. Sometimes that's easy to not have in a photo shoot and sometimes it's really hard. It just depends on the model's hair. But it's not something that's hard to clean up. Um, it's actually really relatively easy. Um, what I'm going to do is use this tool over here, which is the clone stamp tool. And it is a great tool, and I'm going to show you how it works. Now, I've already done a little bit of work on this picture, just to give you an idea. So if you look over in this area, let me make this a little bit bigger. There we go. In this area, I've already done a little bit of work. So that's before and that's after, just to clean up a little bit of the flyaways. Now I'll show you how I did that. Before we get there, let's go back to the clone stamp. Now this is a clone stamp tool here. And what is great is that you can literally just get rid of all of this. But I wanna show you a couple adjustments that you need to make. The opacity here, if you do it at 100%, it'll be too strong and you're gonna end up hitting the hair that is alongside. But this is kind of like a very finesse type adjustment. Let me move the screen over a little bit just so you can see. Get rid of this and move this over. One of the first things I will do is I'll blow it up to about 200% just so I can see. And this is why I have the opacity low. If you have it high, a lot of things you're going to learn in Photoshop are a finesse kind of thing. So this is how the tool works. You're going to grab an area, and since this is all black, it makes it really simple. Grab this area, and then what I want to do is come in here and paint it in, right? And you can see how quickly it does that. But with the way brushes work, if it's too strong, then it's going to affect this area in here. So that's why I will drop it down so I have more control usually about 40%. So again, I will select this area by hitting Alt on the Mac and Alt, well, it's actually Alt Option on the Mac, and then on the PC, it will just be Alt. So I'll pick this area over here, and then this is when I'll start paying it in. Um, in the last video that I put up, or a video I'm about to put up, I'm gonna tell you that I use a Wacom tablet to do my Photoshop work. And it just makes it a lot easier because you can come in and do a lot of finesse cleaning. And as you can see, it's cleaning up the hair. You're not seeing the same fly away. Let's move this down a little bit. Actually going to bring it out a little bit and as you can see there we go it's cleaning it up more so what I'm going to do is go ahead and clean up the rest of the image I'm going to do it, uh, I'll probably speed it up some so you don't get bored, but just to show you what I'm doing, I'm just going to continue going ahead. I'll be right back when I finish.
Okay, as you can see that I've cleaned up the picture a lot. I could probably do some more, but this picture, A, is one that the hair is just terrible in. And it's an excellent picture to show you just how you do some, some manual cleanup. I can go more in depth, but uh, I think just for this tutorial's sake, um, this will be enough for this one. Um, as you can see, it's very, very subtle. Uh, you never want to go want to go too crazy, and that's anything in Photoshop. One thing that I didn't point out. Now, to make the area bigger, you press the right parentheses. Left parentheses will make it smaller. So that's how you can modulate the size when you go in and clean up. It's one thing I left out. Other than that, uh, I think I'm done with this tutorial. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask me. And we'll be doing another tutorial here soon. Talk to you later.